Hi, this is Rick from TechDC. I'm here to review these three iPhone 5 docks. Now, of course, uh, none of these are from Apple. These are all from third parties because Apple does not make an iPhone 5 dock. The first is the Podi M. That's spelled P-O-D-I-M, sort of a cute name referring to the fact that you're putting your iPhone 5 on a, a podium here. This was originally a Kickstarter project. You can purchase it now for $70. This is from Brayburn Acoustics, that's B-R-A-E-B-U-R-N, and it was purchased off of Etsy for $27 plus shipping, so for about $34. This is called the Dock In Case, that's D-O-C-K-I-N-C-A-S-E, and it's a pre-production model, uh, so it's not actually for sale yet, but it'll probably be seventy or eighty dollars. This one actually includes the lightning connector. The other two do not, so that would be an additional twenty dollar purchase on the others. The website for this is made to dock m a d e number two d o c k. Now the main issue for all of these is that the lightning connector is not as easy to pull out of the iPhone five as it was uh, on our, the earlier iPhones when you had the 30 pin dock connector. So it sticks in there pretty tightly. This means that it's important that the docks be very heavy. So this is the Podium again. This is the heaviest of these three and even on this one when you lift up the phone it will lift up the dock. So that's a little bit disappointing meaning that none of these are really the ultimate dock for the iPhone 5. Um, but the Podium is very well made, has a little spring action here so you can bring the phone forward and lift it up. And even though you do have to take a little effort to pull it up, uh, because it's heavy, it's not that difficult to do on the Podium. You can see it's very well crafted, uh, has sort of an edge here, similar to the edge on the iPhone 5. So overall, a very nice dock. The next is the Brayburn Acoustic Stock. This is the lightest of the three. It uh, appears to be made out of metal that's been um, painted over. Now the, the unique thing here is it has holes for the mic and speaker. So the mic feeds into these holes up top and the speaker feeds into this uh, mesh set down on the front. Now it appears like it's kind of a gimmick but I'll play some audio here and show you. So you can see it actually adds a little bit of audio volume, uh, probably about 10 decibels. Uh, so it's sort of a nifty thing and I have used the mic as well and that appears to work. Unlike the other two docks, this stands the iPhone up at a 90 degree angle, so straight up and down. Um, and uh, this area up front you can put your fingers on to help give you a little bit of leverage when you're uh, removing the iPhone. The next one, the dock-in case, probably considered the prettiest of the three with this machined aluminum. Uh, also puts the iPhone in standing up at a little bit of an angle. It's called the dock-in case because uh, this area right here can be pushed forward or back so that it will fit different size iPhones and uh, you sort of screw that down from underneath here. Um, it's not as heavy as the Podium, so it's very easy to lift the iPhone up, um, sorry, the, the dock up when you're lifting up the iPhone. So it takes a little bit more effort than it does on the Podium, but still a very pretty dock. Overall, I'd probably have to say I like Podium the best because of its extra weight, um, but all these are beautiful docks. If you happen to see another dock that you like, uh, please let me know, and uh, thanks for watching.